So, I guess I made the executive decision that we're gonna put a stroker in this thing because we realize how important like pump gas power is for people. And um, I mean, we can put a good turbo on it, but you know, the bigger the turbo, the less the, like you lose the response. So the other solution is just to simply make the engine bigger. So um, we pulled the engine out of the mock and uh, this thing's got five miles on it. So, I mean, it's basically, you know, basically nothing. Um, I really wanted to see if they actually made the engine just like an RR engine um, in the Canon X3. So, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of Skidoo guys watch this, but this engine, you know, is, this is like a drag engine out of my race car. Like they're identical. There's one difference, basically, uh, I think it's actually on the girdle. On the girdle, they they just machine out a little spot because the Canon X3 uses that little spot for a, a motor mount, and on the Skidoo, it's actually they machine it off. You can see it's freshly machined off. But they did not do the RR piston, which kind of upsets me a little bit, especially for pump gas guys. So this is basically. This is the Mach Z piston. Um, and this is like a brand new Canon X3 piston. So they are literally identical. Um, the RR, on the other hand, is not. You can actually see it's a much better design piston. This piston, we could run I mean, comfortably, we run them in like the 40 PSI boost range on E85. Um, there's there's more strength added in like the pin boss area, and then they're also lower compression. So I don't know if you can kind of see how much bigger that dish is. So this is still a high compression turbo R engine out of a Canon X3 for the most part. Um, the stroker kit we use is X3 based, so it won't have the D on the end of the crankshaft. So the all the skidoos use this style um, taper with a D on it to lock the uh, to lock the clutch in. We're going to switch it over to a non-D lock, um, just normal straight snap. You know, basically. You know, this crank had a little bit of welding going on, but um, yeah. So we're gonna do a stroker, um, the piston, cause we're doing this like so quickly, we don't have great piston options for stock bore. We're basically just gonna put, put a piston rod combo with a crankshaft in this thing. We're gonna put a ported head on it with some camshafts, maybe a valve spring kit. Um, so it will be a little bit higher compression, but I mean, within reason, it won't be that much different. Um, but basically, I, the, the main points is, this is the same exact connecting rod that's used in the Cam X3, the 743 rod. Um, these rods are pretty strong. I mean, I wouldn't be worried about, I guess I would, really wouldn't be worried about rods. The pistons are gonna have the same issues that they've always had. Um, I guess another note, Another thing to talk about is the ring package. So on a on an RR piston, the ring pack is moved further down. You can see the dome sticking up a little bit. That just gets the ring fur further away from the heat. And generally, we've we've seen it happen, but it's a lot less common for an RR to crack a ring land versus a turbo R. Um, so they'll still have the weak pistons in them. So we got to be careful. I'd say they're more delicate. Like an RR on pump gas, <clears throat> you know, 93 pump gas, 24 pounds of boost, 25 pounds of boost, like in the desert isn't like really a big deal. Um, but with the turbo R, especially on guys that run 91 octane, the bigger turbo does help a little bit, but it's, and I did see this while tuning, like to note, like I was expecting the RR 
um, like ignition timing and things to act like an RR, but it did not. It, it definitely was a lot noisier at at timing, like ignition timing that I thought would have been okay. So it does take less timing than what I was hoping. But maybe next year's model they'll they'll switch over because you know like uh, you know the. Skidoo guys, the snowmobile is like all about pump gas. Like we just, we don't really run E85. I mean, some guys will run race gas, but it's a lot less common. In the off-road world, I definitely say that like the alternate fuel stuff is way more common. Um, but we're gonna, I mean, basically put this thing back together. We might go over some talking points. You know, an X3 crank will fit right in this thing. We'll, we'll kind of go over all that. Um, but yeah, so sorry it doesn't have better pistons, but I guess it is what it is.